Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Yeah, the situation hasn't really changed. This is really just an update to assure you that so far everything uh, is still as highlighted before. I know that a lot of people are waiting for that daily XRP updates, especially since we've had that spike to the upside, which gives us a short term bullish perspective. But I have to tell you that so far, XRP has not continued the rally and also hasn't given us any um, bottoming signal here that would be in any way reliable. In fact, we've actually made a new local swing low below the one of the 25th of July. I intentionally avoid to give you here a micro count any more micro um, than I already do with this WXY structure in a potential way for because it will not help anybody. Yeah, I will not be able to give you a reliable micro count here in this structure. I can give you ideas, I can give you all sorts of stuff, but it wouldn't help anybody. The danger is then that many people will think it is predictive, which it just simply isn't in a corrective wave structure. We can track potentials, yeah, once we see something, but I haven't even got anything that could, you know, that could potentially allow some short term upside setup here, yeah, nothing in the short term. So what we did in the last few days, we tracked the potential diagonal that potentially could have unfolded here that could have told us, okay, maybe we already bottomed here, but um, it made a new low. So that is out of the window. From that point of view, there is currently nothing I see that would give me any confidence that um, price is bottomed. In fact, even here, I didn't have confidence. It was simply something we tracked. Um, but yeah, essentially what we need to indicate here that a rally is starting in a wave five is um, a small five wave move on a smaller time frame. It could be an impulse, could be a diagonal. And as long as we're holding 66 cents, we can do that in the current wave count, which would allow for one more high above 95 cents. Um, yeah, above 95 cents. So far, however, we have no indication that a lasting low has been established here. It's currently respecting the Fibonacci levels. It's respecting the 50% Fib level, but um, it's not showing any bullish reaction to it. Yeah? And also this rally here was in the end corrective. So I'm currently looking at this as a WXY structure. The 66 cent level continues to be relevant. A break below it will certainly decrease the likelihood of um, a bullish chart, of a generally bullish chart. There is one more bullish setup that we will have below 66 cents and it would be a larger degree fourth wave here from where XRP could then launch and rally in another high, but um, support would then be 56.5 cents. But below that, I haven't got anything reliable left and XRP would morph back into an overall ranging pattern most likely, okay? At least I would then have nothing, I wouldn't have anything reliable left here on this chart if we break below the 66 cent level and then also below 56. So yeah, that's the situation, nothing changed so far. Taking a look at the bigger picture here on the daily chart, um, still give it a chance here and I'm still tracking a potential one, two, one, two and one, two setup. But this is a bit of a hopium count. This move up and that's the problem on this chart. This move up between March 22, no March 2020 and April 21 is not an impulse. So it would in the end only work out as a larger diagonal structure or this could just be a larger triangle count but which could actually make a new low. Um, but as long as the micro bullish support levels are holding, I am going to focus on higher here. But uh, just to highlight, it's not necessarily super high confidence on this chart, but I issued my concerns about this chart before. It's still something where I would say, okay, we're tracking the bullish potential. And if we get five waves up, which at the moment we don't have, we would really only have five waves up here. Yeah. Once we complete this third wave, this fourth wave and this fifth wave, then we have a signal that, hey, we are working or we have a diagonal structure. We can work with that as a reliable, more or less reliable bullish setup, at least more reliable than anything we have at the moment on the XRP chart. And then we can look for an ABC structure to the downside in a wave two to get the first, you know, a, a good, set up for a more lasting uptrend at the moment we're just not there yet and it needs much more patience in the short term 66 cents is bullish support that's my update about xrp i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content 
then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.